we got our featured story is the good accounting and uh, rh max talked about the good accounting uh when he was on the show on uh, friday and uh we know you have some good stuff to to bring on uh with regard to that uh please uh lay it down for us with the godwell situation and all those things should i unshare your screen so you could bring up a new screen or yeah sure well yeah let's let's take that off let's see what let's see um if anybody has a question, they can drop it in there while we, we start talking about this. Um, so maybe maybe we start with um, good accounting of what it is, right? And uh, and see what that. <laughs> Thanks, R H Max. Um, let's see let's see what that is. So not everybody is aware of what good accounting is. Um, so let's start there. When you make so everyone knows we're talking about hex. And hex is a um, completed, um, finished, immutable contract, right? Mm -hmm. It's a set of rules. It's a set of rules, right? It's code, and it does what it does. So if, if you, I make a stake, I make a commitment that I'm going to have hex staked for a certain number of days, and if if I don't meet my commitment um, by an emergency end stake, I'm penalized, right? It's, it's Part of the rules, it's there, it doesn't change. That's how it is. And then, but it, I also am required to end my stake within two weeks. I get I get a two week uh, uh, grace period after my due date on the stake. I'm required to end it um, within those two weeks or I begin to get penalized 1% per week. All right, and so, 102 weeks after the end date, the reward or the payout from a stake is zero because it will be 100% penalized. So if you don't end your stake, when you say you're going to end your stake, uh, you start losing money until you lose all your money. You start losing hex, yes. Yeah, hex. Until, the, until you have no and no hex left. And that applies to both principal and, uh, and yield. Um, so this is where the term truth engine came from. You know, we talk about the truth engine. You made a promise by making the stake that this is how long you were staking for. Right now, there could be some situations where it would be advantageous to you not to end a stake. And we can get into that. Um, and it, there also might be some reasons why you didn't get you couldn't end a stake. Right. Um, so I don't know. Sometimes people travel. Sometimes, you know, there's malfunctions with equipment. Uh, we talk about jail. Right. I mean, a, a number of different things can happen. Right. Where somebody doesn't doesn't get back or maybe you even forget. Right. Um, so there's lots of different reasons why you might want a good account. So you as the owner can good account your stake. The cost, though, to do so is about the same as what it costs to end the stake. Right. Um, also, any of us can end, can good account anyone else's stake. So, so wait, the good account is for in the future. You know, you're not going to have your computer, so you could make that now. It won't bleed out. Well, yeah. I mean, if you were actually at your end end stake point and you wanted to end the stake, you would just end it, right? Yeah. But let's let's say I don't know. You you spend time with family. Let's say you told me. Hey, I'm going. I'm going on vacation, and you went on vacation, and you, and while you're away, you don't have any of your whatevers with you. You don't have your keys. Mm -hmm. You don't. You can't get to it. And you're like, oh my god, I don't want to be penalized. You're my friend, and I trust you. Let's just say that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> but well, let's say it was true. You might say, hey, could you could you good account the stake? I can go in a good account the stake. Oh, but it has to be once the stake is up. Yeah, once it's up. okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so we end up with a situation where we have we literally have um, thousands of stakes that are past their exp expiration date. And uh, we call them expired when that happens. And that means that they're past the date that they were supposed to end. And so at any time, somebody can go and good account those stakes. And um, when they're when they've been penalized, what it does is distribute the penalty at that point. Um, and so that that's where the good accounting comes from. Now, there might be reasons somebody might want a good account also, because when you good account, 
what, what you're doing is you're um, um, what you're doing is you're doing everything but mint your hex, right? And so that's that's really where that comes from because the because it's not minted, you don't have possession of it yet. So in certain jurisdictions, you have to check yours. It may be may not be considered a reportable event, right? So it all so it all depends. There's tax advantages as well as what your potential tax advantage. Well, yeah, reporting, right? Whatever that that might be. Um, and so, so like I was saying, you know, the expired hex sticks, you know, they affect the system, right? And so, the contract is primarily set up uh, to reward people who meet their staking require uh, the staking commitments, whatever those were, were, and that's with rewards, right? And so the way the contract and the way it's set up works is that you're rewarded for, you know, stakers are rewarded for keeping those commitments, right? So if you honor those commitments, you'll get rewarded. And if not, you'll be penalized. Right? Now, one of the big things that we had a huge misunderstanding about in the beginning, at least I did, is we thought, um, we thought that, uh, oh, these things are bleeding out. We used to use the terminology bleeding out. And we put together that if a stake was bleeding out, well, therefore, it must be going into the penalty pool. But it does not go into the penalty pool, right? Because nothing's automatic in on, uh, on a contract like that. The only way it gets into um, the penalty pool is a user must run either that, that um, end stake or the good accounting because it's not automatically triggered, mm -hmm. right? And so, yeah, this that sets us up for, you know, the discussion about Godwell, because he had this huge stake, um, you know, maybe he was letting it bleed on purpose and paying penalties to other stakers. I mean, that's a possibility. There are people who think that way. Um, it could be that he just forgot um to end his stake but however however it happened we ended up with what that 19 million or something um that that he had that was um was bled out and uh, was accruing as a penalty um and while his stake is in place or was in place um what happens is the t-shares that he has they're part of the calculation for the for the daily payout by, per T share, and so it was essentially eating up a portion of the daily inflation, and it goes to no one. It just disappears. It just disappears. And so then the question is: Okay, so we don't know why God wills doing what, what he's doing, right? So we don't know. We just know it's bleeding out, and then that, that's where you guys were having your your conversation about. Um, what what should should have been done and there's people on pros and cons on both sides of this you know should it have been good accounted should it not have been um i i forget what the total number would have been was something like a million a day or something um in hex penalties Maybe so nor normally they let it go until the end and then they good account it and they scoop up all the penalties <laughs> no no that's not true <laughs> you would you would who who's they who's they just the community, the community those... right? yeah. so this is where this is where the community is it, it, this by the way this should not be a con, uh contentious you know um split because really we, you know it's it's a DeFi protocol and we as a community can't really control what everybody does right mm -hmm. um so what, what what would happen is one of these things was ble was bleeding out if it bleeds out 100 percent and then it's good accounted yes it all goes to penalty but when you step in and you good account early, the, the penalty gets paid, but the remaining hex just stays in limbo. It stays in limbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, good accounted. And and so then you have two possibilities, right? The guy comes back and and pulls it, or he never comes back, or she. Right. In one case, it makes hex more rare because now you have it's like Satoshi coins, right? They're just stuck. Right. They're not going anywhere. They're just just out there. Right? If he never comes back, they're just there. After some period of time, you assume they're never coming back. Maybe. 
or the percentage that they're coming back goes down, down, down. Um, that's on the one side. And on the other hand, somebody can come back and discover, oh, look, I have a stake. What this is worth, you know, I got a million, I'm going to dump it. And so then you have the potential for dumping. And so you have those factors, you have the factors of whether or not, um, you know, having more payout per T-share would be good for people because the T-shares are out. So the, the, all these little elements. Um, so I'd go back to the simplest form of all this and say this, right? Um, generally, it's best to let them bleed out, right? As a community, it's best to let them bleed out to 100% and then claim it as a community. Because I think from a overall perspective, that would be better for all stakers, but, but not necessarily for individual stakers. Right. And so going back to your, your question about what does the community do while well, the community has voted, they, and they, they good account almost all of the big ones, all of the big, it doesn't matter if it's God will or anything else. Right. And so you can go on um, hexfire.io and go look or go look on backup hex and you'll see that most of them have been good accounted. We're down to the point now where we have, you know, like, um, very rare to see something more than about 300,000 hex make it to the end of the 102 weeks. Wait, so why do they good account them? They don't, why? they don't game, want ga game theory, right? Then they don't get the penalties. They don't, well, they, they good account it and they, and the penalties at that time come out, right? Yeah. What, what's been accrued. But they could get, get more. They could get more. But what if you were in a position? One one scenario, let's say you're in a position where you have a stake that's very, very, very big yeah. and you have lots of T-shirts, right? And, um, well, if your stake's in place, you get that payout then and you earn more yield now. It's the, the opposite of delayed gratification. So there are some cases where, well, very few cases, where a dolphin or a shark could go um, pay for the gas themselves specifically to good account. And they actually get more payout than, than what it costs them to do the good accounting. All right. So let's say, let, well, we'll make up some numbers. Uh, 25 bucks as an example for an end stake, probably higher right now with the gas gas fees so let's say it's 50 bucks right it's going to cost mm -hmm. you 50 dollars if you've got enough t-shares and that stake is big enough you would earn enough daily yield that day just because of the penalty payout to pay for the 50 dollars and then you get the additional benefit of having a relatively larger payout um, because now those t-shares are out of the pool and then one layer deeper in this, any of the penalties actually do get paid out because they're minted. They now push the payouts higher because there's now more hex to inflate. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I don't know that works out for every case for everybody that that's that, that's how it would work. But for, for a specific individual, you could look at look at it that way, um, that that might be better. And I, I don't it, it's kind of a it's a kind of a, a circular conversation to get into but that's why you have people doing different things right you know if you if you had hundreds of thousands of t-shares you might benefit mm -hmm. actually i think it's a lot less than that. i think i did the calculation and pretty much if you're a higher end dolphin for most of these you'll uh, you'll benefit more you could benefit more just by doing it for yourself and you certainly would benefit the higher the higher stakers earlier um, but I think um, overall, the staking community gets less. And that's why I say that the general default, I would think, would be to, you know, let it go, let it be burned 100%. Now, in the case of Godwill, um, don't know, don't know the motivations. So I might assume that he was busy, otherwise detained unable to do it unless i really felt strongly that it was a gift to the community i would i would get 
right? So like, so like if I, I, I'm not aware of your wallets, don't need to be aware of them, but if I had a family a friend, a friend who was bleeding out and I knew they couldn't get to it, of course I could account for them, right? So I, I think treating the God will as a friend of the community is the best, best way in this case. So that's where I stand on it, you know? So that would mean less rewards uh, for everyone, but he gets treated well. That's how it works. Yep. Yeah. Um, and how would that compare to just like a regular, you know, big bag holder? Would you good account that as well? Well, I think if it's somebody I know, yeah. What I mean, if it's somebody God, you don't God, know? Godwill has a, has a big status. I've actually done it before for people I don't know. Um, but um, I'm not actively doing that at all. Um, but there are a group of people that have because um, we have, we can go look at it at some point, but we have thousands of stakes that have been good accounted that were good accounted by other addresses. And, you know, some of them nothing's ever happened with afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, people are doing it. So, so it's almost um, a pointless conversation because they, they actually do it. So, I, I mean, somebody's going through and doing it on a pretty regular basis. Yeah. And I think it's good. I think it's good to treat the people that treat the price best, treat them best. So they keep treating the price the best. And they, right. they if that's it. the case. Sure.